know why there was a delay. Listeria is a really dangerous uh, bacteria. It was on July 8th that the Canadian Food Inspection Agency issued a recall on silk and great value brand plant-based beverages over listeria concerns. The recall happening after several people fell ill. So far, there have been a dozen confirmed cases, nine required hospitalization, and two were fatal. Ontario's Ministry of Health confirming that the two deaths occurred in this province. But it's the timing of the recall that's sparking concern. According to the Federal Public Health Agency, the first illness linked to this outbreak outbreak occurred in August of last year. And so I do wonder what happened from August 2023 to now, especially in light of the fact that the recall was issued in the middle of the summer when few people are listening to the news and, um, and also the fact that uh, Meta doesn't allow people to post news items on, on their platform anymore. Danan, the parent company of Silk, tells City News in a statement, quote, we were only recently informed about the potential listeria cases going back to August 2023 as part of the updates and notifications by government authorities. Meanwhile, the runaround from government officials, the Food Inspection Agency directing City News to the Ministry of Health, who only noted it's working with provincial and federal health authorities on the investigation. What will help in this case is is that the volume uh, demand for these products uh, is not as uh, significant as say uh, with uh, with maple leaf products. Listeria outbreaks have been deadly before. In 2008, an outbreak linked to cold cuts at a maple leaf food plant in Toronto killed 22 people. We find it uh, in the environment, particularly from from animal waste and and other products like that. Um, you know, unfortunately, sometimes during the manufacturing process, it can enter the food supply and, and contaminate the machinery. And because the contaminated foods are consumed cold or raw, it can lead to illness. What makes it extra dangerous is that it can't be seen or smelled. People get nauseated, they throw up, they may have diarrhea and some abdominal pain. Dr. Chagla says while many can recover, it can be deadly for vulnerable people, including those who are elderly or immunocompromised. Well, if you have any of the recalled products in your home, you're being encouraged to either throw them away or return them to where they were purchased. For more information, you can head to our website, citynews.ca. In downtown Toronto, Erica Natividad, City News.